Hey guys, it's Yasker. This is the 32 vs. 32 level BF showdown with Dice and EA staff. We today play some 32 vs. 32 on Obliteration, Hanan Resort, this map. And I know Obliteration isn't designed for 32 vs. 32, but it's all about having fun, and we do just that. Stay tuned and enjoy. Here we go. All the people spotting in, in the water included. With Love Commander and Mock Shell. What's up? Mock? Mech? Mech? Mech Cell? Mech Cell. Not Mock Cell. The Love Commander. Parachuting in. Who's that? 01001. Zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one. What's that in binary? Does anyone know? I don't know. I don't know. Chadman and I just called, decided to call him five because there were five numbers there. But there was probably an intelligent binary code, a number that it actually meant, or a letter or something. It probably means a single know. letter. We called him five. Lots of infantry fighting inside. Look at all of the guys. They're all coming in. So much destruction. Goodness gracious. The new bomb has been located. It's right here. Who is going to get the bomb? Who's that? Nils gets the bomb, kills one dude, but gets shot in the face with a grenade of some sort. Now we see Deco pulling it up. What's he doing? No. No way. We see Dimarok. He's got it. Looks like Dimarok might be headed for that uh, four-wheeler out there. Maybe. He's actually going backwards? She shouldn't he be going towards the enemy bombs and not away from the enemy bombs? It seems a bit counterintuitive, Dastro. I do have to agree there. Deco has it again. But look look at all the blue guys on top. They are sniping them. We need some XM25 action, I think. They're all holding back. Will there be a boat to come save them as they defend themselves from an onslaught of blue guys now parachuting down from the hotel, the resort. Oh, this is bad, Jasper. This boat just pulled up right next to them. The rest of the boat shouldn't wipe oh, out no. everybody here. Look at that boat. The boat is just throwing lead down, using the AP, getting out of there. The bomb has been dropped. But here comes the red boat. Uh-oh. Cruise missile, nice to meet Zero One, ends up annihilating a lot of people there. But we do see a Jeep. What's he What's he doing? Blazer. He's, what's he doing? Why is he's he, just taking the road less traveled? Why is he Astro, going? That's to, all. No, why is he going to that bomb? He needs to get to the other bombs. It's like he's almost getting for safety. I agree, this could be really bad. If the bomb carrier goes uh, down, the uh, rep inside the blue team will be real close to their bomb site. They are holding it, defeated, almost like they're waiting to get a better presence, but the blue team getting closer. Getting closer. Blue team not really what pushing up to uh, contest the bomb either. Don't know, this is kind of counterintuitive. Normally we see the bomb carrier have an average life expectancy of about three to four seconds. This guy's been alive for about 45 seconds already, so outlasting most others already. Oh, more EMP. Let's get out of here. Oh, goodness gracious. I did not pack my 3D glasses today, Dash, bro. I, I don't know what this game is trying to give me. They're really just sort of playing on the defensive until the boat comes up. Oh, here we go. Into the helicopter. Now we should see the action start to pick up. Boom, baby blazer inside of the little bird right now. Looks like they might be heading over to the Bravo cap point. The Bravo bomb site. Yes, helicopter does get around, but look at all of the guys. I don't know what they're thinking. There's no way they're gonna be able to be able to get this. Oh no, what is he thinking? 
bomb carrier goes down. Did they just steal that helicopter? Uh, maybe. I believe that was the helicopter that Boom Baby took in there. It circled around one time. They had windowed the pilot, and now the bomb carrier is just running on the floor. Dima 91 UA got a couple guys in tow. Still walking through the water. Jake from In the Works Media, now being the bomb carrier, going over to the Heinen Resort. See what he chooses to do. See if he gets in that elevator, goes to the top, and tries to parachute uh -oh. down. And here comes, here comes a helicopter. Safe. Ends up throwing a rocket nearby. Jake barely dodges it. He is just hiding. He's hiding. I don't know if he knows this, but he's got the bomb. No, no one is is uh is unaware of your position, sir. I what? I'm actually kind of surprised that red team isn't pushing as hard into him. But there is a red faction that has made their way to control Alpha Point. This is a good position because if they can get the bomb, they're going to have a lot of security if they do push up on Alpha. Absolutely, I do see those guys in the second story of the Alpha bomb site. Jake's still being cautious, but for how long? He is getting flanked. He does end up getting taken out. So the Chinese team has a heavy presence on top of the resort, and they're just raining down on top of these Russian guys. Average life expectancy of the bomb carrier, about 3.5 seconds. Yeah, it wasn't too long ago that, that we saw the red team. I want to go to Loa instead. Let's see if I can find Loa. Um, let's do man. Is that a cruise missile? Bam! Cruise missile went down, but I didn't see it actually kill anyone. Look at this. The Look at how much red guys are up on top of the roof. Let's go find a few of them. Boom Baby fighting out a, a push that's coming from the elevators. Going to Godzilla. Let's go to... Uh, Go to JS Raider. He is using. Oh no! The helicopter has gotten the bomb. We now must see where the helicopter goes. Pushing for Bravo, maybe. We do see. Travis is our bomb carrier right now. He just hopped out of the helicopter oh, and suicides on impact. Skittles though grabs the bomb. No! Whoa! Fly helicopter here. Skittles has to run. Ends up hitting the. No, I don't think he... she did hit the. I don't believe so. I believe she got unplugged from the Matrix well before the rocket ever impacted, so... Oh, no! Forward. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did Dimarok kill his own teammate? What What happened? Dimarok got diced. That's all I gotta say about nah, that. Nah, nah, nah. I think... I mean, I mean, Friendly Fire is on, I think. Maybe. You know what might be? Who is this? Uh, it's in 7 who is pushing up slowly on Alpha. Blue does have quite a bit of a presence here. There really aren't any red players here. This may be Blue's opportunity to get the first, the first bomb of the game. Oh, a little bit of EMP. Gittles up with the bomb now, immediately taken out. I think that Red is able to hold on to this in the end. They are able to get their bomb back. So Dimrock once again for the Chinese bomb carrier. Looks like he might be uh, looking to get on top of the boat right now. He is going to make it. Is he? They are in the boat. People said, oh, who cares about boats? Oh, this is where boats are really important. Let's see if this little bird from the Russian faction has anything to say about this boat rolling into Alpha Point. Alpha Point, you pointed out earlier, there was lots of red dudes, lots of red Doritos in the second 
story of Alpha. Now a couple of blue Doritos in there as well. They may, this may be their opportunity. Oh no. A supply drop comes down as well. A little bit of EMP. Got to back out just a bit. Destro, we're asking for, they're asking for some first person of the bomb. Okay, let's go for first of the bomb. Who is this in the bomb right now? Uh, it is, it is our deck. I don't think people realize how this is going to be not that interesting because every time we go to it, it's going to be just a constant barrage of people dying. But we'll give it a try. He gets in. Maybe the helicopter? Shazam. Picks him up. 14 minutes remaining. Oh no. The R duck with the Shra gets a kill on the helicopter. The bomb goes down. It now goes in the possession of Frosty from Lights Out. Grabbing inside the Ogo. Frosty is driving away. Actually, it looks like it's Love Commander who has the bomb, maybe. No, I think it's uh, Metzel, actually. Let's see if we can actually see his position. No, I don't. They do end up going down. Loa goes for the bomb, ends up taking it, but immediately goes down. I mean, this is why it's so hard to do first person, because it's just a constant barrage of people dying. We do see Frosty from Lights Out carrying the bomb. Going to third person. They are flanking around, trying to get a good position. 74% health. Why do you, what are you seeing? What are you seeing? Do we see a lot of people on blue teams kind of pushing up in that direction? It sure, it sure seems like they're trying, but at the same time, I think this blue team helicopter is going to be in trouble. The bomb does get taken out. This is now the opportunity of... Let's try to get to it if we can. Going to Radar. No, that's not Radar. Going to Marcy. His teammate, Shazam, does get the bomb. They are getting back in. They are moving around. Let's go, oh, let's go back. Here is their position. They are sort of in the back. It's almost like they're just waiting to, to for their teammates to get into a good position before they push on up. As we can see, they red players here on Alpha. Maybe if they push on that, maybe with the help of Bo, they'll be like, what? Hey -o. What happened? Hey, they took off and crashed. Oh no. Is anyone nearby? Is anyone nearby? No, there's no one nearby. Nope, the bomb may nobody, actually reset no if, if it is idle for too long. You see the boat kind of going around? The thing is, bombs are reset. There you go. Bombs reset is now actually at the advantage of blue team because it, they're the ones who are closest to this this bomb location. Going back, here we are. Who's gonna get it first? Absolutely, if you go to the tabletop view, they have a heavy presence inside of Alpha. They have an outer perimeter, as well as a couple guys oh, right yeah. on the bomb site. So if they are able to get control of this bomb, they're walking over Alpha and just waltzing right in the front door. They are. One blue team, Kingpin BS, end up, Kingpin 86, excuse me, not BS, ends up taking it. 
Commander Milo, she's there, but let's go to Kingpin. He's at 1% health. He dies. Go to Leader Havoc. Takes out one, takes out two. He has the bomb, but he gets taken out himself. Going to, is that Blazer is the one who has it next? Uh, going to Boom Baby Blazer. Gets taken out just as fast. Who gets the next bomb? Is it Loa? It is Loa. Loa does have the bomb. Still fighting it out. Gets in the Jeep. This is his opportunity. As you can see, they have still have a big presence on the blue section. Or, what's that, the Bravo bomb? Is that what it is? Actually, this is Loa who's on red. I'm, I'm, I was mistaken. Let's see if these guys actually start pushing on the bomb because Let's last see, time they just thinking? retreated like this. Oh, we, oh, oh, we almost, almost got in the helicopter. Here it goes for the second pass. EMP. He needs. They need to get out of there. More EMP. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh. He's okay. They're okay. I think they need a little bit of widgety in their life. What Maybe. Do you think, Astro? Maybe. Here comes the big maneuver. But what do we see for Team Red? Team Red still has a large presence on Alpha. If Loa and company can get around. They will be able to uh, maybe get on this alpha no, point, but no. Submarine. He's in the water. That was a stinger coming from the top of a, the Heinen Resort rooftop. Blue team has a heavy presence over there now. It is a pool party, a beach party. A big bomb on your back, but it's protected. And you, pre and you pretend you're Michael Phelps, huh? Yeah. What is that? The freestyle? No, that's now that's uh, what's that? What's that one called? Is that a breaststroke? That one's the breaststroke. Breast breast he is getting wrecked. Seven one percent health. He does get robbed. And as we see, the blue boat coming back. Boat versus boat action he does get taken out. Red team will potentially get the bomb. Remember, guys, in the boat, if you push that F five button or up on console, be the fifth uh, position, you will be able to get into a little speedy. A little sea doo, a little jet ski. Uh oh, hey, where'd that guy come from? It's flew in the water, holy moly. A little bit of EMP, that's all right, though. We'll keep on going. Back it up. So Tommy hanging outside of Alpha right now, right underneath this EMP blur, and uh, yeah, we're, we're good, waiting for to pick his move. Uh oh, but look, there, it's a, it's a Sepaku Sidu coming in. Oh no, will do they realize that this Sidu is coming in to hit them? Oh no, he gets out, he blows it. Incarnate takes out the red boat. He did not come in. However. We have Loa, going to Loa position. No, he's already dead. Let's see who is gonna get the, the bomb. Maybe it's, uh, let's go to, let's go to Beretta, Captain Beretta. Gets an assist, going for the bomb, maybe. No, it looks like it's being taken by Tatami. The, oh, the president, the president has the football. The president has the football. It's not a briefcase, so it's on his back. Oh, he gets wrecked super fast. In this case, Colossus of Cloud does have it. He's still alive somehow. Explosions everywhere. His commander says, get out of there. 90% health. Throw in med packs. Trying to get a... <laughs> oh, no. Here comes the light helicopter. Let's check out and see what happens. He's running. To get into the sea dew maybe? It's so close. Love to see the pool party. Go for it. Oh, no. C4. C4 dropping down. Bartez ends up killing himself, but also won the process. In this case, Cloud says, no, I'm not even going to wait for you. I'm just going to go. 2% health, though, this may. No, he does get taken out. May not end very well, but we got Spoon here driving a boat full of people. Loa trying to get the bomb as well. Uh, c -Doo versus Big Boat? That's going to be hard. They both go down, maybe. Will they get the bomb in time, or will it reset? I think it may reset any second now. He's got to get out. He's got to get out and get it right now. Oh, he's too far away. He's only got a few seconds. He does end up getting it. 
gets inside gets inside the boat but uh oh the boat's not moving and the boat's about to die what's he doing he needs to get out of there right now oh no oh. there we go these guys are uh -oh. oh, i'm good okay i lost it for a second i got too excited but the bomb is still here with the the big boat taking the scenic route inside all these canals a light helicopter coming around, taking a lot of damage. I They have one repair guy, but it's about over. We do see the bomb go down. Bomb going down, and we are just under five minutes, and absolutely no one has gotten very close to planting the bomb here. Yes. Red team was picking up the bomb now. Who is driving this boat? Tommy is at the helm. Might be going to Bravo. We've got a couple of guys for support. We'll see. We could see a plant here. We could see. President has the bomb. President going for the plant. He does go down. His teammate, Loa, ends up taking it. He's so close. He's going for the plant. He does. It does drop. But we have Nick's DK coming in, trying to provide some protection for his teammates. Uh, we have Cherry, who is getting the bomb on. I think they did get the plant. They did get the plant. Nick's DK being that meat shield in a tank, though. He is 65% health. Fighting it out. They are taking it out. Only a few more seconds remaining. I think they're going to get this. They do. It is a bomb that does go off. See? Wow, this is so much destruction. Cherry trying to repair everything. Wow. I think that is it. We do see Red Team scoring one for their side. What an intense! So now we reset back into the uh, the re relocated bomb and take in mind, guys, that it takes about 30 seconds for the bomb to spawn in. This will be not much time for whoever takes it. Blue team has to get a bomb real fast, and if they can't, well, it's going to be over. It's going to be a victory for. Absolutely, we're about seven seconds away from this new bomb spawning. I lied, it's spawned right now, right in front of the Gold Coast. There it is, Red. We have Rune on his way to pick it up right now. Going to Rune. Jumps immediately into a fucking fast attack vehicle. Here we go. Oh, he's not driving too good. But he is driving it backwards towards the bomb. This is a delay tactic because he knows if they can hold on to it for just a few minutes, they're going to take a victory here. Some sick moves. I think. Oh, he's okay. He's still there. This is a delay Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, Chasm. Tell us you're going for blood. Plant the bomb. Come on, plant that bomb. I think they may just be delayed, it, but I want to see them at least try. Oh, no. Lots of stingers abound. Someone. Where is he firing? I think you just. I think they are just playing some delaying tactics. Uh oh. Does take a hit. There is a, an enemy light helicopter up. Let's see where that is taking place. It's got hold. He's trying to go after it. I'm sorry, guys. The, the blur just keeps on going. But President does take them out with a stinger. I think this is going to secure it for Red Team. Minute 42, they can be aggressive, they can push this out, but I suspect they may just play it out. As we can see, there isn't much of a presence on Alpha or Charlie from Team Red, but they still, sh I still think they should at least try to go after it. 90 seconds left, president of the, uh, all those rockets. Kylo's popping players here. All the rockets. They are on Charlie, though. They are going for it. Jumping out. They only have two, three on it. It does get taken out. Look at all the guys there. Bomb easily goes down. Too many infantry to fight against. We have Jado, who is now holding it. Let's try to go to Jado and see what he's doing. What's he thinking? He has 55 seconds to do anything. He needs to be able to get there fast. Where's the helicopters? Here's Godhold. He's coming. He knows that Godhold's the fastest thing with 45 seconds remaining. This is what they need right now. They need to get there fast. Oh no. A little bit 
a, a, a tree action. Oh, no. 40% health. And... Oh. That was... Let's go into free cam, see what we see left. It's on top of this building. Don't see any, how, they, they can't even get up there unless they have a, a helicopter. I think that's game, guys, 12 seconds remaining. Red team does take the victory here. GG. That was, that was a cruise missile at the end. I do believe it was, so. Chinese team picking up one bomb kill. They win the round. That was I. I it was a bit, a bit of attrition back and forth for the first few minutes. But we did see, in this case, red team able to pull it off. Nick's DK coming in at the very end, being that meat shield for Cherry to Cherry to put in that bomb at the end. Absolutely. If he wasn't there, the uh, blue guys would have just handedly picked off all the red guys trying to plant. They're kind of stationary targets. Plant trying to plant at that. Uh, laptop there that you have to plant at the bomb site. So Nick's DK doing his tankly duties, coming in, shielding the bomb carrier, getting the plant off, blows up at the end. It's all good to go. Gives his, his team the victory. Indeed. We will be going to the next round shortly with no breaks. You gotta, you know, those little bird pilots, they tried hard, but there was so much AA. So many igloos, so many stingers. Yeah, there's such a heavy presence on top of the, the resort there. Uh, so many stingers being, being shot out at one time. Super difficult to get that air game going. Yes. That's the end of round one obliteration. We will be posting round two in the coming days. Until then.